Yo, everybody, it's Carman. It's nearly ten past ten. I don't know if you can see that. The date and everything, it's the 11th of May. I'm up at Hackett's Lake doing another solo mission. It's like, yep, listen to that beautiful sound. It's absolutely hammering it down. We've got 20 to 30 mile an hour winds today. Because here's a view from my bivvy. Zooming on the other side of the lake. I've got my mate over there. Uh, Shane Savage. I would know him from Beeston about 10 years ago. The last time I seen that dude. Safe one matey. And just over there is his mate. I forgot his mate's name now. <laughs> Safe two two matey. I got my right rod in line with his mate's bivvy about 30 yards out. I got my middle rod about 40 yards out on a bubble float with a fake piece of yellow floating sweet corn and a glow in the dark piece of sweet corn. I got my sleeper rod just here about 7 foot from the bank on a large halibut 12mm pellet. It's like, yep, you can get smaller ones, but I've got it on the bigger ones, so it takes a little bit longer to break down. Because I haven't had any ones yet. I got here about 6 o'clock this morning, but I've been doing other bits and bobs. Oh, my rod's just beat, Tom. Oh, he's bending. I might have a run on. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, beauty. Okay, got one. I don't know, I'm just about to find out. About a three pounder. Beauty. Yeah, right, again, everybody. It's part two. It's now uh, 
25 past 10 on the 11th of May. As you've seen in part one, my rod screamed off while I was chatting. Hmm. Well, I've just cast back out again. And um, with my bubble float distance about 30 yards out of that way, my bubbles drifted across. It's just there now. So I'm hoping I haven't crossed my line. I don't think I'll because I can still see it and it would have been pulled down. But I've now got it in the same spot again. And that was on my right rod. It's on the deck. No action on the top. Yeah, I keep flicking dog bickies out to try and get him interested, but because it's bombing it down, well, it was a second ago anyway. It, they haven't been topping. I've got my margin rod. No action there yet either. But at least I've had the one I haven't blanked. As you can see, the little bubble flipped out my hand. I wasn't expecting it to do that. I should have been expecting it, but. Hey, sometimes that happens in fishing. Anyway, no harm come to the fish. It was safely back in the water. But I thought, well, it slips out my hand once. I'm not going to try, like, picking them up again when it was wiry as hell. Didn't even know it got hooked, bless it. It was still lively as a mofo. So I've, I've been back. Like, yeah. And hopefully that'll go off again in a minute. There's some action in the margin there. Some red pools. Ooh. That'd be nice to see if that one rips off while I'm doing another baby chat. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, the rain's calmed down a little bit. You know, hopefully it'll brighten up. It's like I'm hoping so because that was crazy, man. I was like, yeah, and I had to go out in it. <laughs> I don't mind when it's like this, just like little spitters and spatters. But when it's full on flinging it down, I'm like, damn, man. I was like, yeah. I had to throw half a spliff away, but I stood on in the entrance, but I didn't realise it was there. Damn it, so I'm going to roll another one, and I'll get back to you in part three, hopefully with my rod screaming away. Sweet. Right, everybody, it's come out with a new spliff. But now, 25 to 11, on the 11th of May. Uh, just another beep or rod, rod, so I thought I'd get my camera in just in case it rips off. Look at that. The sun's trying to come out now. I've got them big juicy grey popping clouds over there. It's not a sun for the sky, is it? I don't know what it's like behind me. I'll have my... Some dudes here. Oh, yeah. Just let me shake the camera from the sun a minute. Some blue skies above me. Juicy grey clouds over there coming this way because the wind is blowing this way. Got two dudes on my side, two dudes in the bottom of the bay there, one dude over there. Got my mate Shane Savage just over there. I got his mate over there, I keep forgetting his fucking name. Got two dudes over there, one dude on that point near, all on his own, and there's nobody on the rest of this bank. That's it. Oh, and there's a guy on the far end near peg number, well I forgot what peg that is down there, peg 30 I think it is with the little bridges that's it on the big lake the whole small lake's closed off because of competition so I don't know how many people are there but that's closed off to the general public today I'm just enjoying myself I've had the one so I haven't blanked and the sun's trying to come out, bless me Nice one. I'm hoping it does because it's a little bit nippy when it is. Not that. Right. Look at that. That's a tough little fuck up. Yeah. One second, everybody. Yeah. Oh, nice. My flavour, isn't it? Ooh, big sparrow. Oh, that's fucking sweet, huh? Right. Anyway, that's what I was saying. It's gone nice now, look at that. It was like waves a minute ago. It's almost flat calm again. The wall keeps on drifting from side to side. I'm going to flick some more bait out in a minute for that. Ooh, got some margin action. As the sun's coming out, trying to warm it up a bit, they're coming into the shadows. Hopefully I'll get this baby whipping off soon. 
Well, I might get one on my surface one. I'm going to flick some bickies out in a sec. Or me of a uh, rod might scream off, which is the only one but had some action. My daddy rod out the two. <laughs> first one to be christened and the first one to go today. There's my bubble. You can just make it uh, shining on the surface. Just the, at the tip of my finger. And yeah, man. Alright, I'll hopefully get back out of with the carp on the line. Sweet. Alright everybody. Just thought I'd chat more bubbles to use. Gosh, I'm in like that. Oh, I love this weather. It's far to 11. Yeah. I just want one of my rods to go. Come on, you beauty. Be nice to me. That would be nice. That is so nice. The blue skies over there, though. All the way over there. There's more way behind me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get wet. Oh, right, nice. We're going to use the waterproof clothes. Oh, beautiful. I really want my own rods to go bad. Please. Yeah, pray to the fishing gods. Please let me have another fish here. I don't even mind if it's a bream. Ah, uh, under the lemon. I don't know, it's raining. Might have been drowned out by the rain. Oh my fucking spillet's gone out again. I know it's nearly dead. I'm gonna have to roll another one in a minute. Mm, yeah. Right, I'm gonna roll another doobies. I'll get back at you in a minute with a fresh one on. Nice. Go right, again, everybody. I just said, oh, and another one. My right rod's beeping away. I think I've got a bream on it. <laughs> I'm going to land this baby anyway. I'll be back in a second.
nice little free farm miracle for you all. Beauty. Hi everybody, it's Carmen. It's now ten past eleven on the eleventh of May. What I thought was a bream turned out to be a little three pound miracle. Beautiful. So I thought I'd let you know what it was and the time and date update and everything so in the last 20 minutes of my last video I had a nice little take that was epic still no action on my margin rod I'm getting ready to change the bait on that one because it's probably half dissolved by now still no action on the surface rod even though I've been flicking bickies out and everything yes man Shane you can see yeah, it's come on to pop and see me did you see that little bugger then? that's two I've had on my right rod a three pound little fucking miracle and that other one I thought it was a bream it was just like beep beep and then it didn't even rip off one out but it's, it's like yeah. fucking pick my I'll get back at you in uh, I don't even know what part I'm on now <laughs> but I'll get back at you anyway with the next part hopefully with a uh, carp in the net or on the line sweet one from the chain from the carrot man bless man Right everybody, it's Carrot Man, it's now half past eleven, I don't know if you can see it because I can't even see it myself, yep there it is, it's half past eleven on the 11th of May, that's my mate Shane Savage popping round, scared the life out of me, we weren't expecting him to pop round while I was chatting, but hey, that's fishing, <laughs> it was a nice one, I haven't had no action on my rod yet, just popped round to let me know he's getting ready to pack down himself. Just gave me a little spliff with, with squidgy black blessing. I'm going to mix that with my own weed in a minute and have a combo. I'm going to roll that up in a se second. Got my right rod. That's been quiet for about half an hour now. Might get ready to put a new bait on and bung it out. Got my surface one just floating about. I've actually seen a couple of lips coming up. So I'm flicking a few bickies periodically to keep them going. And then I've got my sleeper rod. Which I'll also change in a minute after I've rolled my doobie. So everything's nice and fresh. But I right, nice one. Anyway, that was my mate Shane Savage and getting my doobie. Cheers for that mate. I'll add you on Facebook. Not just because you gave me a doobie, but it's because you're sound and I've known you for time. Ugh, it's like the sun's getting ready to come back out and all fucking hope so man. Well, hopefully I'll be back at you in the next part with a fish on the line or on the mat. I'm going to roll this spliff, so I'll see you all in a minute. Sweet. Alright well, everybody, it's Carl Ryan. It's now 25 to 12 on the 11th of May. I just rolled out the spliff and everything, but I got off Shane Savage. Mixed with mine. Nice one, Shane. Cheers, mate. I think I just died. <coughs> Excuse me. I just had a single beep on my uh, right rod. It was it just it could have been something just stroking the line or something. But it was a single beep. No action. It's just starting to rain again. Nice. Got blue skies over there. For a minute. I actually thought it was going to brighten up. Hmm. By the way, Shane, this lift tastes nice, man. Sweet one. Wicked combo, I know that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's 25 to 12. No action yet. 
symbol of the sign of the ring. I'll do a video on my rigs and everything on another day. And the picture might be if you up and collapsing it down and stuff on all. And I'll make it all into one long video. So it'll be from when I get here, doing the session why I'm here, and then what I'm using and everything at the same time, how I'm getting my bait to wherever it is and the method I'm using and stuff like that. I'll do all that. And I'll get it all on a video for you. Just a nice bosh over there. Nice. Well, hopefully I'll get back at you in the next part with fish on the line or on the mat. Sweet one. Yeah, you know, everybody, it's Cartman. It's now just gone 10 to 1 on May the 11th. I just put fresh baits on all my rigs apart from my bubble float because it's artificial, so I don't need to change that. And so I had no more since my fish number two. It's all gone pretty quiet, so. I've changed them to different baits, so no longer using Robin Red pellets, I'm now using Frill pellets, made by Dynamite Baits, both in 16mm, topped with an artificial piece of yellow sweet corn that's brilliant. A few from my bivvy, it's just started raining again, ooh, dragonfly, come here, get out, so yeah. Inside, I've got my um, tax stuff just here. I've got my bag while I carried it all in. More dog bickies. My dog bicky bag I'm using already at the minute. Well, it's, I've got ground bait there, flavourings there. What's that? Oh, my chocolate there. Yeah. I've got my boilers and everything in my bag in that there. Well, hopefully I'll get back at you with fish number three. Sweet one. Yeah, right, everybody. It's current man. It's ten past one. I don't know if you can see my watch. On the 11th of May. It's absolutely hammering it down again. Oh, I love that sound. I hope it's picking it up. I don't know if it's picking it up or not. I hope it's picking it up. I just had a beep on my surface rod. I was like, yep, if it was anything taking it, it would have screamed off. I think it was that fucking bird. Just there. That little fucker. I think he's just had it. There's a mother that way. Anyway, it's ten past one. On May the 11th, still no action. Apart from that beat which made my heart jump into my mouth. And goes, yeah. Come on, fish number three, where are you? Anyway, I've just baited up as I was saying a minute ago. And I got into it by a phone call. But yeah, that's all good, it was worth it. Cheers, babe. You know what yeah. Just seeing if I'm alright because of the rain. And look at that, it just stops dead. Ain't that fucking mental? A big bruiser with a grey grey cloud. Let's have a look what's going on behind me. Big grey fucker over me, and that's over there. Little ducks over there. Margin mod, two foot from the bank, bubble rod, somewhere over that way. And then other right rod, just on the other side of the grass. Literally, just on the other side of that grass. But I'm going to duck all the show because it's going to rain again and I don't want my phone getting fucked. Nice. <sighs> I'd love it to have ripped off right now. I want to do, come on, you little bugger, I want to scrap with a fish. I love this little baby. Perfect for a one man job. People, it's a turn, it's a turn. It's a baby to me. It does the same thing as a baby does. It's double skin like a baby. And it keeps me nice and warm when it needs to, just like a baby. 
What's the difference apart from the colour? Isn't it? Isn't it slightly smaller? So what? I'm only a little person here and I need a small space. Isn't it? I don't trip all over my stuff. <laughs> it's all organised. Right, I'll get back out of for the next part. Hopefully we have a car up on the line. Safe man. It's now 5 to 2 on the 11th of May. Yeah, man, 11th of May, 5 to 2. We've got Sean Savage and his mates just over there packing down, getting absolutely soaked. Bless him. It is hammering it down. And all three of them are getting absolutely soaked. Damn. I haven't had no action, not since fish number two, apart from the odd bleep air in there. Crazy, it's absolutely crazy. I love this weather. That sounds awesome. Now nice and dry, nice and smooth and dry. <laughs> Nice and dry. Yeah, man. You know, there's a couple of people, but duck for cover. They go shit. There's a couple of people right over there. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. No, I can't. But literally, just over there in line with my finger. They're ducking underneath the tree for cover because they haven't even got a bolly. <laughs> Soldier in it. Go on. <laughs> that fucking bird there keeps on having my bubble float and making my fucking. Rod beat. It's going to actually get it in a minute. Right, yeah. Woo! I love that. Yeah, zoom back out. Wow. That was coming down hard then, you know. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to packing down later. Oh, damn, I'm going to get drenched, man. No. No, man. Not really, I've got to walk through his clothes on. Look at that. Woohoo! Yeah, man. Yeah! That slick there, that's coming up off my bait bomb. So it's just on the other side of these bushes. Yeah, so something was munching that and making the oils come up and everything. Uh, excuse me, hopefully that whips off in a minute. Look at that, and it just near enough stopped dead just like that. Like a little April shower now. Nah? What is moving off a bit of here? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, what a beautiful day. This weather, you should have known who's a wimp and not a wimp at fishing. And I can hack it or hack it. <laughs> Sue's a bum. Right, hopefully, I'll get back to you in the next part with fish number three. Sweet one. Yo, right, everybody, it's Caroline. It's now five to three on the 11th of May. I just put a new bait side and everything for the boys to move underneath my rod tip. Ooh, ooh, that's something jumping into my back lead. That wasn't to take, that's just a fish pump in my back lead. The margin mod might go in a minute. But it's nice to know the fish are still in this area. First beat for ages. I put new bait on each rod, apart from the middle rod, because it's uh, artificial bait. But I've recast it straight over towards that swim. Just there, about 40 yards out. The right rod on the far right is on the peg. After that, that way on about 
20 yards out and this one's still in the margins it's just start raining 5 to 3 on the 11th of May man it's crazy this weather is nice wind's picking up got the dudes over there look at that blue skies man That's what's just landed on me. All that's still coming on me. And all that over there is coming yet. Why can't you believe that? Like that? It's not, it's all coming from over that way. So I've got all that and all that lot's coming on me. Yeah. Meantime, I heard though, still after fish number three. I don't know, some dude keep on beeping his bloody rods. That's what I hear. The dude next to me, immediately to my left of the big blue bonnet, just there. He just had a nice 13 pound common. He didn't tell me his name, I just saw him weighing the fish. Wouldn't ever take a picture of the tight git. Well, some people are like that. I wouldn't have minded myself, I would have loved it if someone took my pig. Like, Cheers, mate, you saved me trying to do it myself, or pausing it halfway through a video and making a screenshot or something. <sighs> you get some ignorant people, man. I'm always up to fucking lend a hand, fucking help them land it or fucking take a pic. In the nuts, that big fucker. Oh, I'll hopefully get back out years in the next part, as I say, with a uh, carp on the line or on the mat. Sweet one, everybody. Two rods beeping away. It's now quarter past, quarter past three, the 11th of May. I just had both rods beep at the same time. So like, yeah, there's fish cruising in the margins, just stroked them both. I oh, so wish that was a pick up then. Got my bubble somewhere out there, but it's like, it's like sort of like a boat in the water, and then the other one obviously it's back leg close in, and they both dinked at the same time. So, something going for the munch in the margins, but it didn't take it. Damn it, something's starting to come out. Look, yeah, man. A little bit of a blue patch over there. It's all grey. That's what's just dropped on me. Oh, that big bruiser over there. Let me tell you, it was heavy too. Let's have a look what's behind it. Oh, that darkness over there coming out. Oh, I'll give that about probably five, ten minutes the way the wind's going to get here. Yeah, man. <laughs> Get ready to put another bag on each one and I'll whack them out there. Nice one, everybody. Fish number three on the line. Beautiful.
Yes, fish number three at seven per coming. Fucking epic. I hope that camera got that. I'll check it right now. Go everybody. It's Caraman. I'm up at Hockey's Lake still. The time now. Quarter past four on the 11th of May. I had my third fish not long ago. Seven pound come up. Just put fresh bait on my margin rod and my daddy rod. But it's had all three of my fish on so far. I brought my bubble rod in. Here's my bubble. Reese just there. A piece of fake glow in the dark and yellow sweet corn. Oh, he's had a nice ripple in the margin there. Yeah, that's a fish coming in to feed on my munch, but it's waiting for it. I'll loosen that just a little bit. Let's check it. Yeah, that can move nice. I'll hopefully get back out here. Yeah, my battery's flashing, so my phone might go dead before I get fish number four. I hope I get fish number four, four years. Oh, there's Woody driving around the lake in the pickup. He's common rods. It's right next to me. That one's just the sick. So I've had three today. So at least I haven't blanked it, and that's been hammering down and on. So, you know, I'm being a bad day at all, it's been absolutely sweet. Hopefully, I'll be back with fish number four. If I'm not back, my battery's died on my phone. And I'll see you all next time. But in the meantime, sweet one. Hey everybody, it's Carmen again. My friends just literally believed to tell me it is going to die, so I won't be able to get another one on video for you all. So, I'll see you in my next fishing adventure. Sweet. Tight lines, everybody. Yo, everybody. <coughs> Yo, everybody. It's come out, man. It's now 25 past 4. Well, all the way. 25 past 4 on the 11th of May. The margin rod went ripping off now I've just lost a nice common carp I don't know how big it was but it was nice and I lost it just as I was about to put the net under its nose Gutted. almost had fish number four for you I've only got the one rod left now let's see if I can get fish number four on my last rod I've got until six o'clock so I've got an hour and 35 minutes left so yep hopefully I'll get one sweet